Hi, I'm Lily, and today I'm going to show you how you can live stream from home on your computer using OBS and your DJ setup. So the setup I've got is, um, I mean, I tried many, many things. I watched many videos. This is why I'm making one, because I wish I had um, fallen on a video like this that shows me how to um, stream using my sound card and my external mixer, and even using a, you know, an external MIDI controller, which would go into Traktor or whatever um, DJ software you're using. So I just wanted to say I had first started by, uh, I had seen these videos that show that directly out of your mixer, you know, in the RCA, you can get a R double RCA to jack. Um, I don't need this. <laughs> to jack, um, just with the two, see the TRS. And that you buying this uh, adapter here, which I ordered online, I ordered on Amazon, this adapter to TRRS, which means it has the stereo output and a mic, which makes it possible to do live stream, that you could just plug this into your phone or iPad and just press play, uh, press live, go live on Facebook Live. I tried this, I tried everything, I tried opening in the camera app and everything, and every single time it just picks up the built-in mic of my device, of my iPhone or iPad. So I thought, okay, I'll just go back to the basics, I'll go to the computer. So first, the first thing you'll need is to download OBS. Um, it's a free software. Just go to OBS Studio, Mac or Windows. First, you need to uh, download that. And then we're going to get to um, the setup, which I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to try and be as clear as possible. We'll start with the computer. So I have Tractor open. Uh, I'm using two decks I originally wanted to use. This is my um, Xone K2 with four decks, um, but this controller and sound card mixer is really, really practical and nice um, when you're traveling. And if you connect directly the outs here, the RCA to the speakers, uh, otherwise it's, you know, if you have another mixer and a sound card and this kind of configuration, it's more there as a MIDI controller. And that's what I've done. It's not exactly perfect, but I've got my two, I put my decks uh, A and B on the sides like this. And then I just have like things for play, play and pause, as you can see. Pause, play, you can make the mappings in Tractor. So we're not using vinyls today. Uh, I'll do that in another video. So I have, well, so I'll go back to my, Mic zone here, um, which is connected by USB to the computer uh, with this um, powered USB port here. And let me turn it down a bit. So I have a complete Audio 6 sound card. As you can see, you can forget these inputs. That's for an instrument, a synth. Um, I've got uh, so the output one and two in the back that are jack, I've connected to my Allen Heath here, Xone 32 to, this is the first deck, this is deck A. The mappings are in Tractor. And then behind here, this is the aux auxiliary, uh, auxiliary um, connection that I'll show you after, but underneath would be three and four. See, I only, I have just an RCA, with the jack adapters, but it's best to have jack to RCA if you don't have jack inputs in the back. See, these are RCA inputs. So the three and four out of my sound card is going in to this one here. This is deck B. See that I've left the middle one. The middle one's not doing anything right now. Deck A, deck B. If you have a bigger mixer, of course, with four, you know, with four channels, and you can use all four track decks in a, in a tractor. But this is what I've done so at this point. If you go into preferences, you'll see. So if we had been using the zone without the sound card and all that, it would have been internal here. In audio setup, I chose my sound card. I chose complete audio six. As well as on my computer. Up here on my Mac. We have external, so as I showed you, the connections output deck A, one and two out here. That's usually like what your headphones, uh, what the speakers would be connected to. 
if you didn't have this mixer over here. And then deck B is three and four, which I showed you, which are here as well. Um, there's no input routing normally, so I have to get rid of that. Um, and then, so normally as well, since we're using this as our external device with tractor, I have my cue. So when I want to listen to the tracks, you know, before I play them, I just press Q here and we can hear it through the headphones. So first of all, test all of that with your Serato or tractor to see that it works normally, like you're ready to DJ normally. And so that's, you know, the mappings are in controller manager. Um, make sure that you're able to record. I haven't set up the recorder yet. I'm going to do that. Uh, I think I, you have to set it to internal as well. Uh, and then test, you know, make sure that the volume, you know, the gain is uh, is well adjusted so you're not in the orange or red, especially if you have just one track. Um, think about when you have both tracks playing together. And I'm rambling a little bit. <laughs> so here we go to OBS. It's important that you open Tractor and get all that working before you open OBS. So right now, for the purpose of this video, I don't have my... Um, my iPad or my iPhone connected, but normally you would have these connected by USB to the computer that's going to live stream. So I'm probably, I'm going to try to use a second computer to do this in two days, but otherwise you can, if you have a powerful computer, you can play on Tractor, you can try <laughs> to play on Tractor and to stream at the same time using OBS. I'm going to open that. So as you can see here, well, I'm probably going to have to minimize because I'm going to play the track to show you. So here, um, this is just some static and some DC input. It's not uh, playing yet. These would be, uh, your cameras would be set up by putting either iOS camera, if it's an iOS, or video capture device. And you can download, but you have to pay. It's like 17 euros to get the camera apps to turn your devices into a webcam. But I'm here to show you about the sound, which is here. I've called this one Mixer. So what you would do is you would press click here. You would go to Audio Input Capture. And then you would call it whatever. So I call it like DJ. I already have mine down there for Mixer. But you would go Create New. And then you choose your device. So it's the Complete Audio 6. That is our main hub for, um, for DJing for this setup for live stream, complete audio six, right? So I'm going to delete this because if I have to, uh, it's going to, it might saturate. It might, they might add each other um, together. So I'm going to show you the really, the thing that is critical to have for, uh, for the computer to recognize the sound of the mixer, what you're doing. You see here, there is an auxiliary out, an aux out. You must have some kind of aux out. Maybe even record works. I'm not sure. But I use the aux out. I do this because I, when I play with vinyls as well, it's like so that you can get everything that's happening in the mixer back to your sound card, back to the computer. You put the aux out in the input here, input three and four, because I'm. you could put it in one and two as well, but I'm using them for synths and instruments. So your aux out into input three and four. And that is crucial. And then, do not forget, <laughs> you have your aux, your, your aux knobs on each channel. If you don't turn them up, if you don't open them, then that signal is not going to go through and you're not going to have any sound going into OBS. Right? So let's just try it out. So I have my MIDI controller mapped here. And I'm going to turn it up, the fader. And let's beautiful look. It's going in. Track is playing. In OBS. Right, so I hope that was clear for you. I hope that helped you with your setup um, to be able to stream live. I'm happy because, I mean, it took me a while to get it to work. It was just the, the configuration. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to make it simpler than that. Um, but it ends up being always kind of 
convoluted. I'll be happy to try to answer any questions you may have in the comments. And also, if uh, anyone has any luck with this, so I'll like explain it again, connecting the phone into the TRRS here. Like it's, uh, I saw that it's like the iRig, but um, people were saying that this is like the iRig. Maybe it blocks out less parasite sounds, but it does the same job and I, that's why I ordered it. But I haven't had any luck work, um, making it work. And then connecting this into your iPad, iPhone, smartphone, and then this would go into the, um, an adapter. The jack would go into an adapter to double RCA or double jack into your sound card or your mixer. And that way, when you press create live, play live on Twitch, on Facebook, that your phone, your iPad would pick up the, the sound from the mixer and not from the built-in microphone. And I tried this so many hours. I was like, it has to work. And it would be beautiful if it did because it's so nice and lightweight and simple to use, but haven't had any luck. So if anyone can try this or has tried this and it worked for them, uh, I would love to hear about it. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, you can subscribe to me if you want to see more videos like this. Um, and thank you. Have a great day.